Suspended UF Gator backup quarterback Jalen Kitna is out of jail tonight after posting his $80,000 bond. This is video of him in court this morning after he was arrested yesterday on three counts of possessing child pornography. News of his arrest has made national headlines and has been a hot topic among his classmates at UF, especially after more details about the allegations were made public today following the release of the arrest report. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny is live in Gainesville with reactions from Kitna's classmates and his neighbors. Eric. Well, here on campus, an overwhelming majority of students we spoke with uh, were not only shocked by the arrest of the backup quarterback, but they were even more surprised to learn that he was able to quickly post that $80,000 bond just before 6 p.m. tonight. Uh, uh, Kitna left the Alachua County Jail, presumably with his parents who flew into town from Texas. They were in court this morning during his bond hearing. Now, we showed up at his campus apartment about 30 minutes uh, after he bonded out of jail, but it appeared no one was there. Neighbors we spoke with off camera say they were home when they saw when they saw law enforcement officers show up there yesterday morning to serve a warrant. One neighbor who did agree to speak with us on camera says he was shocked to learn his learn his neighbor Kitna was in this kind of legal trouble. That was nuts. Never in my life. I've never seen that like someone getting in tr trouble for that specific thing. Like I've seen Tyler students get in trouble for a lot of things like DUIs, you know, speeding, you know, smoking, all that. Never thought that would be one of them. Now, when we arrived here on campus to get reactions from students, nearly every person we spoke with uh, was upset because by now they have already read uh, what was in that arrest report with all those details. And I just want you to listen to some of those reactions. Stories have been spreading a lot, um, just like people sharing the news stories, and it's kind of just disgusting to see because um, it's such a terrible thing. And then just to see that such a prominent figure on our campus was doing it, it's kind of just disgusting. It's a pretty big disappointment. Um, he's supposed to be considered a peer. I mean, he's held to a higher standard as an athlete, like all of the other athletes are. It was surprising, I would say, because especially when you hold like such a high position, like people are going to find out everything about you. It's definitely unfortunate to hear and a little surprising that someone that's supposed to represent our great school is doing something that inappropriate. Right now, Kitna is being represented by two defense attorneys, one of which has a history of taking on cases involving high profile athletes. Reporting live from the campus of UF, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.